Hey guys and welcome to Buffalo Bills Season 1 recap video and we're going to start things off by showing you the stats on the season. EJ Manuel was our original starter but Tyrod Taylor did however take over eventually and EJ Manuel played a few downs this season. He did throw for 144 yards of touchdown compared to Tyrod's 3600 yards and 30 touchdowns. Now Tyrod Taylor did throw a lot of interceptions this year at 31. He had 26 sacks. And he completed about 58% of his passes, so a little down, but he did lead his team to the Super Bowl, and that's why he remained the starter. E.J. Manuel did play 61 downs in the end. And uh, rushing, LaShawn McCoy, of course, led the way with 1,525 yards rushing. He did awesome this season, 4.7 yards a carry. And he averaged about 95.3 a game, 7 touchdowns. Tyrod Taylor came in second ahead of Fred Jackson with 41 rushes for 299 yards in those attempts that he escaped the pockets. And then there's Fred Jackson after that coming in third place with a little less than Tyrod. You'll see it here in a second. as he had 246 compared to Tyrod's 299. And then E.J. Manuel came in fourth as he had uh, only two rushes for 26 yards in the few games that he played this season. But we'll move on to receiving now. Of course, our clutch receiver, Charles Clay, led the way for us this year with 83 receptions and 1,300 yards receiving. Seven touchdowns, and he did awesome this year. He definitely our best receiver, even though he was a tight end. Uh, Sammy Watkins came in second, 51 receptions, a pr uh, pretty down year, but uh, it's all right. Robert Woods, 44, probably more than I expected him uh, to. And well, Percy Harvin had a lot less than he should have, prop mainly because he was hurt for a few games and. Another reason, like, he can get as many receptions as we thought. Deshaun McCoy ended up getting 20. Chris Hogan got 19. Desmond Lewis got 6. Chris Craig got uh, 5, which is our backup tight end. Jerome Felton, our fullback, got 5. And Nick O'Leary got 1. And Fred Jackson, as well, got 1 reception. And Percy Harvin did get the least receptions, but he did get most uh, touchdown receptions with 8. Here, uh, sacks allowed, I thought was the only really sa uh, stat that really kind of counted. Uh, and Henderson, uh, Central Henderson, gave up 11, which is kind of bad. Aaron Williams led the defense with 98 tackles. Preston Brown, 94. And there's the rest. You guys can check those out, of course. Here. Uh, but Aaron Williams getting close to 100. Tackle for loss. Nigel Bradham led it with 22, and A.J. Tarpley and Aaron Williams. And sacks, a pretty big stat for us. Quentin Groves, 7.5. I thought we would have a sack leader with more than that, but Quentin Groves led with 7.5, then Nigel Bradham was 7. Jerry Hughes was 6, Mario Williams was 6, and then a, few, a lot of people with 1 or 2, or even a half of a sack. Interceptions, Stephen Gilmore led the way with five over Aaron Williams with four. Five is a pretty good number. Ross Crocco got three. AJ Tarpley got two. And there's a few other people that got two and some that got one, as you guys can see right here. Um, so five is pretty good for leading that. Field goals this year, Dan Carpenter went 23 for 26, uh, his long was a 56, the only three he really missed were ones that I attempted that were pretty long for him to make, that were like into wind and stuff like that, uh, of course he went 42 for 42 on extra points, he did not miss one, punting, Colin Schmidt, 31 punts for 1400 yards, an average of 45 yard punt, and kick returns, Sammy Watkins led the average, 26.2. Percy Harvin had more uh, kick returns than him, but did not get uh, as high of an average. Punt returns, we didn't have too many on the season, only 20, because mainly they were kicked out of bounds or touchbacks, but Barry Percy Harvin led the way, 50, or 15 
for 177 yards with an average of 11.8. Next, we're going to move on. Aaron Rodgers does win the MVP of the 2015 uh, season. And if we move down, Tyrod Taylor came in 10th for MVP. So he was a candidate. So pretty nice for him to be mentioned there. Coach of the year, Rex Ryan came in 7th as uh, the Patriots fake coach for the game is the uh, coach of the year instead of uh, Bill Belichick. And here we go through each game. The first game, the Bills lose to the Colts. The second game, we knock off the Patriots 28-21. Third game, we beat the Dolphins by quite a bit, 27-12. to It's improved to 2-1 and one on the season. And a fourth game, we come back against the Giants in the fourth quarter. Ended up winning that one, 29 to 28. So we moved to three and one. Next week, we take took on the Titans. We beat them 24 to seven to move to four and one. Next week, we took on the Cincinnati Bengals at home. We beat them by a lot, 45 to 10 on that one. So pretty good for us. Uh, next week, we beat the Jaguars. 24 to 10 to improve to 6 and 1 on the season. Then we had our bye week, and then we took on the Dolphins 31 to 7, and we moved to 7 and 1, a seven-game win streak. But here comes some of the losses for us as we got beat by the Jets 23 to 3, as we moved to 7 and 2 on the season. And then we went to New England to face the Patriots, lost that one as well, and moved to 7 and 3 on the season. And then we moved to Kansas City and lost another one, our third game in a row, to move to seven and four. We came back though against the Texans to win thirty to thirteen, and we ended up going to eight and four. But then we lose to the Eagles, losing our last game of the season, moving to eight and five, and we end up beating the Redskins the next week, twenty to seven, beating the Cowboys thirty-one to twenty-one in week sixteen and week seventeen. Going beating the Jets 26, so we ended up going 11 and 5 on the season, not too bad. And here's the playoffs: we beat the Chiefs 14 to 13, which was our pretty much the only close game because as you can see, the next two games we pretty much blew out all of the opponents, uh, which is surprising. Uh, the Colts did beat us in Week One, but we ended up crushing them this week. But that's gonna be it for the season recap video, guys. Um, I will see you guys in the next video when we go through the off season and that will be out soon so see you guys later